guys, I just got to the property. It's about six o'clock. We've got a pretty strong 15 mile an hour uh, wind out of the south. I'm gonna be hunting over uh, the feed of that. You'll probably see me hunt a few times. I've seen quite a few doe there and just trying to get my first kill with the bow. And So I just got my camos on. I'm gonna spray some scent spray and go ahead and start walking out there. I'll turn you on when some shows up. All right, so it's Monday, December 28th. It's about 5.30 in the morning or so. I saw those two doe yesterday in the turkey. The two doe just couldn't quite get in range. One looked like a fawn. And then when the one that I wanted to shoot finally got in range, she was facing full frontal. So I just really didn't want to take a shot like that. So I'm gonna head back out to the same spot this morning. Hopefully I get another chance at those two doe. Or maybe I'll get lucky and a buck will come by, but I'll turn you all on when the action starts.
right, so I just had those two dough come in. One was a fawn, one was definitely a pretty good sized doe. And I got drawn back. I know the feeder's at 25. I had my pen, my 30 yard pen, because she was probably about two or three yards back of the feeder. So I had my 30 yard pen, kind of right on the shoulder, hoping to hit, you know, right in the vital V. And I don't know if I rushed the shot or something. I mean, it felt pretty good. But it looked like it went right over her. I'm not sure if I grazed her or what it did, but the arrow popped up and jumped over somewhere else right after it passed her. But either way, I think she's going to be fine. I'm going to give it another 30 minutes to an hour and see if anything else shows up. And I'm also going to jump down and take a look and see if uh, there's any blood or hair or anything on the arrow, but 90% sure I missed her. sure that was the same doe and fawn that I just shot at that came back by and, and blew at me and took off but I'm just glad to know that uh, I didn't wound her and she looked like she wasn't hit at all and was doing fine definitely on high alert though so I'm gonna sit here a bit longer and see if any more doe show up I'm back at the barn. I was a little disappointed in my first shot. I got a take on a doe. I missed high. It ducked. Um, There's no fat, blood, anything on the arrow. So I must have just completely missed it. Um, it ducked, but even with it ducking, I think my shot was pretty high. I slowed it down on my phone. I haven't had a chance to look at it on the computer yet. But I think I was really shooting at a 30 yard pin and probably should have been more like a 27 or 28. Um, but I'm just kind of glad that I didn't wound it and actually missed it completely. So that that part's a little bit of a relief. Um, but I'm back here at the barn now, and I wanted to uh, show you all something my parents found. They were out a couple weeks ago uh, just kind of exploring and walking around and came across uh, a dead head I'll show you here. So this is what they found. It is a 15 point monster. Unfortunately, I have no idea what happened to this buck, but it's pretty cool to be able to see that we have bucks this big on the property. Hopefully one day I'll be able to shoot one like this. All right, good morning guys. It is December 30th. Um, it's been raining pretty much all morning I got up to try and see if I could go out there and it was raining pretty hard. And then I woke up about an hour later and it was still raining pretty good. So I decided to go ahead and pack up and get on the road. Unfortunately, this is probably the end to my hunting season this year. A little bit of a disappointing end. I wasn't able to harvest a doe or a hog or really anything with my bow. And that was kind of my ultimate goal this season. Although I did have a great season, I shot my first buck. Um, you know, I enjoyed hunting on the property and learning all the deer signs and everything to try and help uh, set myself up a little bit better for hunting this year. Plan on doing quite a bit of scouting and, and probably a good amount of hog hunting over the uh, course of 2021. I hope y'all had a good 2020. You know, I know it's been a rough year and 
Uh, hopefully 2021 is a little bit better and I appreciate y'all following along on this journey and hope y'all have a great new year.